Okay, I'm Karen Thomas, and then these are my notes. This is for the culture speech. This is the audience. Have you ever been to a rodeo or heard a country song? I'm sure you've heard a country song on the radio or seen a cowboy ride a horse in the movies. Well, I'm a country girl at heart and I just wanted to share some of my favorite parts of this lifestyle with you. I'm gonna share with you the popular clothing, music, and I'm gonna share some of the most popular events at the rodeos that country folk attend. So first, I'm gonna start off with clothing. Clothing is pretty popular among like cowboys and cowgirls that distinguish them from the rest of people around them. So first for women's clothing, their clothing is pretty cute, but it's very functional because they have to work around the ranch quite often or the riding horses. Um, so most of the time they're wearing a flannel, like the one I'm wearing today. And with that, they wear jeans, usually boot cuts so they can go over their boots. And their boots, of course, are cowgirl boots. Along with their boots, they always wear a cowgirl hat when they're like working around the ranch so they don't get any extra stuff in their hair. And then for men's, their clothing is pretty similar to women's clothing. They usually wear a flannel. Most of the time it's tucked into their pants with a belt buckle. Along with that, they wear jeans that are usually from the brand Wrangler, which is popular among the country culture. And then also along with that, they wear their cowboy boots and their cowboy so next, I'm going to talk about country music because, of course, with country clothing, you have to have country music. So I'm, there's a lot of popular country music that people have heard, but I'm just going to share with you some of the most popular from history, some of the most popular today, and some of my favorites. So first, for I'm going to share some of the most popular artists. Um, George Strait is known as the king of country. He became famous in the 1980s when he got a uh, contract with the MCA Records, and since then he sold 46 albums. His most famous song is Check Yes or No, which was written in 1996. It's about him finding his first girlfriend when he was younger, and it has won two awards. It has won Single Record of the Year and Single of the Year. Next, there is Kenny Chesney. He is one of today's most popular artists. His most famous song is Don't Blink, which was written in 2007. It's about a man who was 102, and it's about him giving advice to young people on how to prosper in life. And it has won three Academy Awards and two CMA Awards. And then some of the most famous songs are also just as important as the famous artists. So one of the most famous songs ever written in country history is I Walk the Line by Johnny Cash. It was written in 1956, and he wrote it as a promise to his wife to stay faithful to her while he was on tour. And then the other most popular song in today's time is Knockin' Boots by Luke Bryan. It was released this year in 2019, and it's about being like with your significant other or your partner. And it's very upbeat, so that's probably why it's very popular in today's society. And then next, I'm going to share with you some of my favorites, which are mostly from today's time. So my all-time favorite song is Chicken Fried by Zach Brown. And it was, I've listened to it since I was younger. I used to sit on the back of my boat at the lake and eat fried chicken and listen to this song every year. And it's about being thankful for what you have and loving the people that you're around. And then my second favorite song is All To Myself by Dan and Shay. And I love to sing it with friends just because we're not all great singers, but it's fun to listen to in the car with everyone. And it, again, it's also about being with your significant other, spending time with that special person. So also, there most other than songs and clothing, there's also very important events called rodeos. If you want to really be a part of the country culture, you've definitely been to a rodeo. There are many different events, and not all events are in every rodeo, but I'm just going to share with you some of the most popular events in the rodeo culture. Uh, bull riding is probably the most popular event. It is when a cowboy is in the chute and is put on a bull's back, and they're allowed to hold on to one rope 
and when they're let out of the chute, the bull starts bucking and they have to stay on for eight seconds without touching the bull with their other hand. If they stay on for eight seconds, they're gonna be given a score out of 100. And if they don't stay on for eight seconds, they're given no score. And the person with the highest score wins. This bull riding is the most popular in the event PBR, which is specifically a bull riding rodeo. And then the next most popular event is tie down roping. Tie down roping is when a cowboy on a horse and a steer are let out of a gate at the same time. And the cowboy has to rope the steer and jump off of his horse. And then he has to wrestle with the steer and tie his feet together. And the rope has to stay for a certain amount of time. So this one is a timed event, unlike bull riding. So the person with the fastest time wins that event. And if you don't successfully rope the steer or tie their feet together, you get no time. And then also the next most popular event is competed usually by a woman and it's called barrel racing. It is when a woman rides a horse and there are three barrels set up in a triangle shape and she has to race around in a figure eight shape around the barrels and then race back to the starting line. Like tied on roping, this is also a timed event. So whoever has the fastest time wins. There is a time penalty if you knock down one of the barrels, so usually they try not to do that. So in conclusion, I love being part of a country culture because I love being surrounded by people that enjoy going to the same events, listening to the same music, and dressing the same way as I do. I hope I've exposed you to part of the country lifestyle. And in the words of Tim McGraw, we all take different paths in lives, but no matter where we go, we all take a little bit of each other. This is the audience.